In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a weather station to your Base Manager Plus account so that you can use weather data as an irrigation option for your base station controllers. First thing you're going to do after logging in is click on the menu button in the upper left hand corner and then click administration and then choose manage weather stations. This will pull up a list of all of the weather stations associated with your Base Manager Plus account. To add a weather station, simply click add weather station. In this box, you'll put the weather station ID that you get from Weather Underground. Weather Underground's network of weather stations, there's over 180,000 of them, so there's likely one in your area that you can choose from. If you do have your own weather station, you can add it to Weather Underground at no cost to you and then use it as the weather station for irrigation purposes. If you don't know the weather station ID or you need to find one, go ahead and click on Find Weather Station do click to share your location. This allows your browser to pull your location information based on your internet service provider and share it with Weather Underground so that they can get you a little bit closer to your actual location. If not, you'll have to search. So I'm going to click share location. To find a weather station on Weather Underground, you have a couple of options. This is how it works currently on their website. Weather Underground may decide to change their website in the future, but it currently you have a couple of options. If you scroll down to the bottom of the screen, you can see a list of weather stations that are available in your area that you can click on and choose, or you can click Change Weather Station. Change Weather Station will then give you a map with weather stations in your area, and then you can scroll around to find a weather station that is close to where you are. I'm going to see if this weather station will work. This is close to the site that I'm using. Once it takes you to the landing page for the weather station you've selected, go ahead and click on the title of the weather station. And then you'll see the Sunnybrook Farm weather station ID number is right here. Go ahead and copy that. Go back to the weather station administration page, paste that number in, and click Save. It will check to make sure that that weather station has good data available. If it doesn't, it will actually tell you that it's not a viable option for you and you'll have to find another weather station. Now that I've got it added, I can go back into my base manager account. I can now go add the weather station to this specific controller. I'm going to click Devices, Weather Station, and then I'm going to go assign a weather station by clicking Assign Weather Stations. And in the drop down menu will be the Sunnybrook Farm weather station that we added. If I want to make any notes about the weather station, I can do that here, and I click Save. Now this base station 1000 is associated with the Sunnybrook Farm weather station. Check out the next video to see how to actually set up a base station controller to use this weather station information for irrigation purposes.